Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to The Constructors, a game where we become the head of a construction company and then we go and build things because, you know, it's literally our job at that point and we are talking about building things on a big scale. We're not just working on one little room or whatever, we are building huge big apartment buildings with many rooms and multiple floors, we get lots of blueprints made to work out how things are supposed to fit together, we choose the building materials, we get to choose how big the individual rooms are all going to be, we design the exterior decor as well so we can have paths and plants and playgrounds and all that kind of stuff. We build big buildings and we try to make them as lovely as we can. That's what the game is all about. Now this is the demo of the game. It's on Steam right now as I record this as part of the Steam Next Fest event thing and as always there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description where you can go and check the game out a little bit more and also play the demo if it takes your fancy. But anyway here we go. Let's dive right in and build a big building. Okay look here we go and there's somebody over here talking to us. Hello there, how are you? I assume you're part of the building trade because you're wearing a very lovely hard hat there and a very fetching high-vis vest. And you know what? I like that. I like that. That's very important. Safety first and everything. So well done you. So they're saying welcome. Thank you very much. So you want to be an architect. I mean, we will try. We'll try our very, very best. I don't know much about architecting, but we shall muddle through. It's all going to be fine. Perfect timing. We just need someone to design the new house and lead the work on it. Okay, so we are going to design a new house. That sounds very exciting. This is a small plot. This here is a small plot, is it? It looks massive, but okay. So it's ideal for the first job. Relax, I'll help you and explain everything. So let's get to work. Absolutely, let's go and do that. So open the blueprint mode. Okay, so do that. I suspect maybe we are now in blueprint mode. It's all going to be blueprinty. It is necessary to apply the required elements to the blueprint. Let's start with the walls and the size of the building. If you don't like the final shape, you can always delete the connections and start over. Okay, so we're going to build the building by kind of outlining the walls, are we? Is that what we're going to do? Add a node and then close the shape of the floor. What does close the shape of the floor mean? What's this little thing here showing us? We have to make it... Oh, okay. Okay, it's got to be an enclosed space. So whatever kind of shape of walls and such like we go for, we've got to end up back where we started to make it an enclosed space. Okay, so we can build anything. We don't have to build that shape. Do, can we build anything? Can we build a really ridiculous shape? Uh, I think it's not telling us to necessarily build that shape. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. So what do we have? So it's 30 meters across and 40 meters down. Um, so we can build anything in here, can we? So if we started, if we started here, can we have, rather than it being sort of a bit square, can we have it sort of, I don't know, can we have it sort of a bit like that across the back? So 10 meters like that. And then 11.2 meters like that. I want to try and make it, can we have it sort of hexagon shaped? Because as everybody knows, hexagons are the best of guns. Can we make it sort of a, a best of gun hexagon shaped house? But maybe we could have a pointy bit at the front to make it a little bit different. Okay, um, we'll have 12.2 meters and then we'll bring that down like that and then we'll bring that bit down to there okay like that and i'm just thinking we have got sort of room for outside bits because yeah i think looking at the steam store page you can put sort of outside your bits in like trees and benches and paths and playgrounds and stuff so that would be quite fun so that's kind of going to be across there but i'd like it to be pointy can we have it a bit pointy like that um, and then bring that over like that. I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not an architect, you know, you'd never think it. And then like that, and then like that. Okay, there we go. We're going for whatever this is, that would do. When you are happy with the shape of your floor, who would not be happy with whatever that shape is? You need to confirm it to move forward. Ah, right, okay, there we go. So the uh, exciting kind of zhuzhy yellow box. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it, Demo, I'm on it, it's fine. Um, yeah, it tells us to go and click that. So confirm that floor. Thank you. Okay, we're going for that. So 605 meters squared in there. That seems quite big. In the upper right corner, there is a list of requirements for the entire construction. All requirements must be met to accept the step. Okay, so building planning is at 66%. Utility, installation, construction, room layout, room construction and decoration. Decoration, you say? Okay, yeah, now I'm interested. Um, they're all at zero. Okay, I mean, building planning is at 66%. 
Uh, I mean, we've done the kind of the floor plan. I assume there's something else to do. For this project, you will need at least two floors. Ah, okay. To start placing the next floor, you need to plan the stairs that will connect the two floors. Okay, so now I've got stairs. Right, so grab some stairs and, oh, just place the stairs. Um, I mean, I'm thinking that people are going to walk in here. I want that to be like a little exciting entrance hall type thing. So, uh, yeah, can we, can we put the stairs just there? Okay, we've got stairs. Now, after plan the stairs, you can add another floor by duplicate and plus buttons. Okay, at this point, we'll copy the floor to save time. You can calmly focus on editing the floor with wall tools. When you're done, you can accept the floor. Okay, so duplicate, and now it's duplicated the entire floor up a bit, but that's fine. I don't need to change that. So yeah, that's okay. That's all good. Um, cool. Oh, okay, right. Cool. Yeah, let's go, man. Uh, we've got the building planned. If you want, you can still work on your project. When you're done, leave blueprint mode. Okay, so we can leave blueprint mode. And now we are here. Okay, they've done the initial build. Oh, look. Oh, that's wonderful. Hang on. Can we look around? There it is. That is our building. Okay, I like that. I like that. It's a shame we couldn't change the colours of the walls and things. Can we Can we slap a bit of paint on there? Also, that front bit. Come on. Come on. They're, they're supposed to be pointy. <laughs> They've left kind of a right-angle bit missing out. Come on. A few more bricks wouldn't have hurt you there, but never mind. Um, okay, now you can see the initial shape of your building. Approval of the building will move you to the next stage. Okay, so check requirements. Oh, there you go. Building planning 100%. Okay, so finish that. Right. We have a final shape and estimated materials. Where's my building gone? Now we have to find a place for our building materials and supplies. Oh, we need a sort of a builder's yard type thing nearby. Um, look at the list of required utilities and materials. Place all the missing ones on a dedicated area. Hold down the shift button to place multiple objects and use yeah, those to rotate them. Okay, so we've got to go to utilities. So we need all of these. So we need uh, yeah, portable toilet. So a place for the you know, the builders to go, as it were. A building plot office and a worker office. Oh, crikey. Okay, that's quite big. Right, so pop that there. And then the worker office can go... If we rotate that round, the worker office... Can, oh, okay, it sort of is facing them. So if we put that... Uh, can we put that at the other end? Uh, what was rotate on that like that? So pop that into that corner, maybe. And then just have, uh, we're going to need more than one, ah, two portable toilets, it says. Uh, I mean, why don't we have, if we rotate it round, why don't we have one there and another one sort of uh, over here, look. So whichever building you're in, you can nip out to the loo nice and quick. Okay, right, so we've got that done. Oh, okay, now there's more things. So now we've got a plank supply, a brick supply, and a rebar supply. We need two of the rebar. So that's kind of big kind of steel bars or whatever, isn't it? Uh, okay, so if the building is going to be just here, it will make sense for the resources to be this side of that area. So it's nearer to the building. So I can do it quicker. So um, yeah, okay, we'll put some planks there. And we'll put some, uh, let's leave a gap in case we need some more planks. So put some bricks there. And then maybe, because we need two of these, go rebar and rebar. Okay, all prepared. It went faster than I expected. I'm, you know, we're good at this. We're amazing at doing this. Remember, however, that these are only recommended quantities during construction. You may need more of a particular raw material or building. Okay, right, we're fine with that for now. So finish that off. Uh, oh, okay, ah. Do we now get to ask a very important question? Under normal circumstances, machines have to be bought or rented, but this time it's taken care of and you just have to wait for them to arrive. You can shorten the waiting time by using the time panel. Okay, so let, oh, it's making a speed time on a bit, but, oh no, okay, we're being tutorialed. I don't think we can confirm that spacebar is paused because we are in tutorial mode, so we can't do much about it. Um, tell them to drive deeper into the construction site. Left-click mouse button to select it and right-click on the area in order, uh, in order to order them to move. Who? Who? These guys? You mean the guys in the big tractory thing? Uh, okay. Dig 
found days that want to do? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, they're all queuing up. Look, right, those guys have been run over by JCP. Okay. Do you, is, oh, okay, I was going to say, is that how you work? You go backwards? I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, so we're doing foundation digging. Uh, perfect. Now, in the same way, use a pump mixer to pour in the concrete. Okay, right. Now, you do some very exciting reversing through a crowd of people. I don't know what they're doing. What are you lot doing? <laughs> Just going to stand there practicing your golf swings by the look of it. Uh, right, so they're now done. Un unload utility truck. Oh, okay, right. Um, uh, select and assign to utility unloading place. Uh, oh, I see. I see. That's delivering these kind of blueprinted things here. Okie dokie. Right, I see. You'll have to assign workers to this task as well because trucks can't do it alone. Okay, so now we need to assign some workers to this <laughs> i don't know how we do that though can we put time onto normal speed please how do we how does one do that exactly oh oh okay no that's not that do we click on that there okay right click the oh i see right we have to select the workers and then right click and tell them to do that okay right i get that that's fine now unload the rest of the trucks okay so that's going to go into there so they're going to help with that. So yeah, you run over and do that, please. That's all very good. Um, ah, they've got the lose. Also, they've driven into the back of the other truck. It's fine. It's fine. You can swap insurance details in a bit. It's all good. Oh yeah, look, they're kind of dropping the bits in. They're kind of putting all those things in. Uh, right, that's a toilet. So you can go and help with the toilet, I think. You can do that. And you've got some... I can't even click on you yet. Oh, it's all piling up. <laughs> there are five trucks left. Okay, you've got you've got planks, I think. So you can go and help with some planks, maybe. Don't get run over by that truck. There's some very careless driving going on. I don't know what's happening here anymore. <laughs> There's a lot... Oh, crikey. Okay, uh, right. Put time on nice and quick. Uh, I mean, it's already made. Didn't we start in February? And we've only just got our kind of basic thing set up. Uh, what is that? That, I think, is that. I don't think they need a person to help them do that. And that is rebar stuff. So they can drop that off. Yeah, they don't need a person to do that. That's more rebar stuff. Okay. Oh, the, the toilet the toilet truck dropped off both toilets. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's good. I think you're done as well. Sort of um, concrete mixing cement truck thing. I think you're done. Select the workers now and send them to the rebar delivery. When they form one layer, have them weld it together. Okay, okay, I'm going to pretend I understand that. Select the workers. Right, so, workers... Uh, oh, I feel like we shouldn't select the truck with that. Workers selected. Right, so send them to rebar delivery. So, go and do this. When you hover your mouse over the blue crystal, or click the Alt button, you'll be shown the amount of required materials to bring. The value is updated with each resource is bought in. Uh, oh, I see. I see. Right. So there were... Oh, okay. We just sort of go, look, go and do some stuff with rebar, please. Go and uh, do the foundations on this, I think. So now we can see what they need. So that's 20 rebar. Got some more rebar. It's all just rebar. It's rebar, rebar everywhere. Right. Get time moving on very quickly. And they can finish this off. They can get the base bit done. Um, and then I assume it's going to tell us what to do next, because I'm not quite sure which bit happens next. <laughs> I don't know. I assume it's the uh, bricks. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Having never built a house before or a building, I don't really know. Um, ah, OK. So now that rebar is empty, is it? There's no unit select. Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. I need to select all of you lot again, don't I? Hang on like that. Um, so that's empty, I think. So now do they need to go and do that one? Finish it. Oh, no, hang on. I don't understand. Hang on. So let the worker and send to rebar delivery. When they form one layer, have them... Oh, right. When they form one layer, have them weld it together. Right. They've laid out all the metal bits, the rebar bars, but now they need to kind of weld them together to make it secure. Rebarring requires two layers. Repeat the steps again. You guys, can you just do this on your own? <laughs> can you guys just go and do this? Because I feel like you should know to do this. Come on, it's your jobs. Uh, okay, right. 
go and do that again. So they're going to go and grab more rebar. They're going to bring it over. They're going to load it into where the little kind of blue diamondy kind of points of interest things are. And OK, and then we have to weld that together. And that's going to make a nice solid foundation. OK, right. Let's keep the workers highlighted then because, yeah, we need them to do the next stage. Uh, and then I imagine we move on to bricks, possibly. Uh, but I mean, time is flying by. Time is ticking by very quickly. Right, they've done that. So now, uh, oh, I repeat the steps again. Rebar, weld. Oh, it's de it deselects them. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Right, there we go. Right, now do some welding. So go and weld all the stuff together using, you know, welding tools, welders and such like. Right, so that is that done. Yes. Now have them put walls on each side of your building to form a shape for the foundation. Okay, so place the form works. Uh, I assume that's that then, is it? Uh, finish placing the form work task. Uh, oh, it's there. Ah, okay, right. Now we have to tell them to do the outside bit. Okay. Uh, and the final step, pouring concrete onto the reinforcement. Use your pump mixer. Um, okay, so pump mixer. Uh, okay, poor elevation foundation concrete. I'm glad this tutorial is here because I've got no idea what's going on. So now they're going to pour concrete into this bit and that's going to make a lovely sturdy foundation. Oh, and stairs have appeared by magic and also a kind of weird scaffolding thing. We've got a base. It's time to move up. But before we convert another floor, we need support. I mean, yeah, like walls, I would have thought would be quite important. We need pillars and stairs for that. Start by assigning your workers to transport the materials we need. Uh, I mean, can that go out of the way now? Can that move out of the way? Can we drive our little kind of truck over there? Wee, that's quite fun. Uh, right, okay. So what do we do with you lot now? Right, now we're going to go and do stuff made out of wood. Right, so they go and grab all the stuff made out of wood. And it's, right, they're doing wall beams and just a regular beam in the middle there. Okay, so you lot all run in and get to, you know, beam work. Okay, that's good. Now send them to build pillars and stairs. So do we now just sort of click in here? Uh, yeah, build pillars. Okay, so they can get on with that. So the pillars are going in. So I think the first thing is them kind of getting the materials in situ, is it? And this bit here is them actually getting the work done. Right, so they've done that. And then, uh, yeah, the pillars are done. Then we need them to build the stairs. So somebody come in and work on the stairs. And then beams. Okay, and then it says build beams. Uh, I don't know where the beams are. Right click. <laughs> Building beams. Uh, do we need to get something different for the beams? Uh, I don't know how to build the beams. Hang on, put it onto normal speed. Uh, it's going to be many years until we can get this done. Uh, yeah, it just says, oh, there is no unit currently selected. I'm selecting everybody I thought. And then right-clicking that. Oh, it's there. Build beams. Ah, okay. Right, I see. I see. The controls are a little bit fiddly, I would say, but never mind. Uh, right. So now they can put these beams in. Crikeys. Okay, right. That's That was loud. Okay, right. So they can work on this. So they're getting that kind of layer of things in. Uh, that's all done, apparently. So then when do we put, say, walls in? When when do we do that exactly? When do we do that? I can see our building taking shape, though. It does look very good, if a little bit bonkers. But there we go. Um, OK, fulfill all requirements and finalise the project. Oh, no. Oh, have you left it? Oh, no. Have you left us on our own? Oh, this is going to end up terribly bad, isn't it? Um, <laughs> right. All of you units... What do we do now? Oh, you've all ran over here instead. Okay, do we come up here? Um, place form work. Okay, so I assume we're now going... Oh, right. They're putting floors in. But for the next level up, I think. Right, okay, this is fine. This is fine. So now we've got some basic... It looks like kind of MDF stuff flooring in or something, possibly. I'm not quite sure. Uh, then we need to go and grab all that. We haven't got to do more rebar stuff over here, have we? Um, oh, I think we have. I think have we got another level of kind of rebar lattice work going in? I suspect we have. Okay, so they can trundle along and do all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, there are quite a lot of points of this. There are many, many rebars we need. We need two layers of that as well. And then we've got to weld this. Uh, okay, right. I mean, let's just let them get all the rebar stuff done. We'll let them put all that in. And then we'll weld it. And then we'll see what we need to do after that. I think, is it then putting the next level of walls and things in? It might be the case that we get some walls in. But okay, right. They've nearly done this now. They've nearly done that. So we'll let them finish off this final bit. I think there's a couple of bits over there. Look, so you two stragglers come in. Rebar, rebar. Okay, so that's all in. And then we need to weld the rebar. Okay. Yeah, look, at we, we know what we're doing. We're good at this now. We can weld rebar. I don't really know what rebar is. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Um, and then we have to do it again. Oh, crikey. Okay, right. Let's go and do that again with the second lot of rebar. I mean, again, I kind of feel like you guys should know that this is what you have to do. Because it's your job. And you've got a blueprint to work to. But okay, right, let's get all the extra lot of rebar in and we can weld that as well. Right, there we go. They've welded the second lot of rebar. So now that's all done. So I think now it was form work, which I would call the walls. But okay, they call it form work. Okie doke. So that's all form work stuff. Um, and then we have to select them again to do that and place form work. One person is ready to place form work. Um... Oh, and I think I might have right-clicked and sent them all running around all over the place. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you could lend a hand a little bit here. Formwork is done. What are all these things? Finish gather... Oh, we've got to gather resources. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. This is all fine. We need... Uh, oh, no, hang on. Is it the truck? Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. The truck has got to come in. How does this work? They pour concrete onto this. It's like a little sort of a pool type thing. Okay, that's not accurate, but okay. <laughs> right, these guys are going to get concreted in. I think that can now go away. I think we're done with you, truck. So can you can you move? Can you come out of the way? I, have you crashed? <laughs> okay, I think the truck might be part of the building now. It's a new feature. It's a fun, exciting feature we're adding to the building. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. Um, it's going to be a bit awkward now. So I think, yeah, now we need to go and grab... What are we doing here first? It was, um, gather resources and... Oh, yeah, it was wood, wasn't it? Right, so go and grab the wood from here and then you can get on with doing these things. Yes, yeah, so it was beams and, uh, beams and columns. That was it. Yes, okay. And then select them again. It's a bit fiddly that they just sort of drop you know, you have to sort of keep selecting the people again and again when they've done a job that is a little bit of a bothersome thing to do i want them just selected all the time please so i think if they finish working on those things we are 89 90 okay we can see a little progress thing over here that's telling us how far along we are so i think is that all done now yeah right so grab them all again and then, oh, now the now the truck's moving. Okay, <laughs> truck, c no truck, you're going the wrong way, truck. <laughs> okay, right. So we've got a few. There's a few technical issues. Um, I think now do we grab? I think because we have the we've got the vehicle selected, it's the game isn't happy with us anymore. Uh, place form work. We've got to place more form work. Is that what we need to do now? Uh, build beams. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought I clicked the right bit to build beams, but no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is leaving... This is like leaving us a little bit lost to do this, because, okay, I don't know how to do all this stuff. And why aren't they building the beams? And what's going to happen to the truck that's stuck inside? <laughs> oh, it is very slowly, but very surely moving. If we just repeatedly click, 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 and it's... Oh, okay, it, it's coming. It, it, it's going to be out of here eventually. We'll leave the poor workers in there to do all the work on the beams. These guys have just given up. They've just given up hope entirely. Um, right, while they work on the final beams, they've got 125 out of 142 done. I'm going to just repeatedly right-click over here to try to get the cement mixing lorry truck thingamajig out of the building. I mean, yeah, it, it's going very slowly but very surely. It's requiring many, many clicks, but we're going to get that out of there. Don't you worry, we shall have you free. And it's free. There we go. You scamper off their vehicle. Okay, so I think construction is 
now done. I think if we press finish, that bit of our building is going to be done. So finish that. I mean, it looks a little bit unfinished. <laughs> What about the outside walls? I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is how they build a building in real life. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. But OK, so now we have to go back to the blueprint. OK, so what do we do with that then? Before further construction, we need to plan the layout of apartments. People have to live somewhere after all. So let's move on and sketch it out on the building plan. Okie dokie. Right, here we go. Uh, can we move time on slowly, please? Draw the shape of your apartment. If you want, you can switch between floors. Okay, so apartment walls. Right, so the stairs, I just want that to be like an open bit across the front. So that's just going to be a nice kind of foyer type thing. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, and then, oh, oh, I see. I see. How about, how about, oh, no, but then if you come up the stair, this is the ground floor, isn't it? This is the ground floor. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, how are we going to do this? No, okay, don't do that then. How about we have the foyer bit can go like this. Okay, so go to there and then go like that and then kind of come back down there to match that kind of thing. Uh, right, yeah, I like that. So you create as many apartments as you have enough space for on the floor. Click the button when you decide to proceed to the next step. Okay, right, so we can have ourselves... I didn't really want that bit there. I don't want that to be an apartment. I want that to be open. Uh, okay, can we? Can we? Yeah, delete apartments because that's not worked as I wanted it to. So can we have a bit that comes down like this? So like that. Oh, uh, we have to draw it in like across there. Okay, so that's one apartment there. They're big. They're roomy apartments. It's fine. I like it. The ground floor ones are going to be nice and big. It's going to be fine. Uh, and then we're going to have one coming across a bit like this, like so. Okay, and that bit can be nice and open. That can be our sort of foyer bit. And then how do we go up a floor? How I switch to a lower floor? Uh, oh, oh, that's the, oh, this is the this is the upper floor. Oh, that's fine. The upper floor things are nice and big. You know, prime views are all high up and everything. Um, and then yeah, now back on the ground floor. Um, yeah, that needs to be a foyer bit anyway, doesn't it? So when you come up the stairs. So that's fine. So two big apartments there. This can be slightly smaller, I think. So, um, yeah, these apartments can be a bit smaller. So what if we just had one going like that and another one going like that? I mean, I don't... Is, is 85 square metres big for an apartment or not? It doesn't sound very big, <laughs> but I'm not really sure. And then we'll have another one like that. That's that's a lovely 100 square metres. Nice, you know, simple round number. That's quite good. And then we'll have another one coming in. Uh, how about... I do want a little foyer type thing. Um, that's going to be not very big. That's a 57 metre square apartment. It's, a, it's petite. It's fine. That's what we're going for. Uh, and then like that. Yeah, okay, right, that'll do. Yeah, next, it's fine. When you have a divided space, you need to determine the type of units. You can determine, among other things, whether it's an apartment, a hallway, or a staircase. Ah, okay, right. So, uh, apartment, 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 and this bit. Oh, what's joinery? Set the entrance doors to the building and to the apartment, so it's access to the staircase. Hang on, I've not done the room types yet. Um, that... Oh, hang on. That is a staircase because it's a staircase, but also a hallway because <laughs> it's an open plan sort of a thing. Um, and that is, yeah, that's a staircase bit. And then just two gigantic apartments at the top there because they're fancy. Right, joinery. So now we've got doors. OK, we need to go to the ground floor. This is sort of important. We need to get some doors in. So, um, yeah, can we have a door in the middle on that side and a door in the middle on i can't get it open in the right like that uh, and then we need doors to these so we'll have a door kind of feel like it should open from like the inside like that so a door there and a door there so we can get into those that's good they can have doors across the top here i want it to be on the other side please <laughs> like that look but this going in the i don't there like that there we go and then a door just 
Oh, this is very fiddly. I want the door to be the other way. Like that, look. Put the door the other way. I demand the door goes the other way. It can't... Oh, hang on. It can... Oh, good grief. <laughs> somebody, somebody saved me from the menace. I'm just going to put the door like that. I'm sorry, person who lives in that apartment. Your door is rubbish, but never mind. Uh, and then up here, we just have a door there and uh, a door there. And that'll do. Um, insert windows to add some sunshine. Okay, let's have lots of these windows. Oh, it wants us to insert just normal windows. Okay, boo. Can we have fancy ones? No, just just normal windows. Okay, right. Pop a few windows in. I'm not too picky about it, to be honest. Let's just drop a few in. Uh, yeah, we'll have quite a few on that side. That's quite nice. Nice and sort of light and airy. And then a couple there like that. Okay, and then of course, don't forget the guys down here. They're going to need some as well. Uh, pop a window in there. And crikey, is a window in just there as well. And then they're going to need some windows. So just put three on that side. I thought just said everything is ready. Hang, it's not though, because some people don't have windows. <laughs> Stop rushing me. Stop rushing me, new building friend. Uh, like that. And like that oh dear yeah the some of the building controls are a little bit wibbly but i'm sure it's fine and we'll put a window there and a window there and one more down here like that right that will do plenty of doors plenty of windows i apologize to the people here because that door's a bit rubbish but never mind i couldn't get it to work the other way around um okay check the requirements and go on to the next phase okay so now it's uh room layout is done Okay, so yeah, windows, 20 out of 15, doors, 2 out of 1, Not out of 8, need door or stair access, that's done, apartments, 8 out of 4. So, we are, we're ready to go? Are we ready to go? I think, I think we're okay. Are we looking good? Ah, okay, finish. Okay, right, the finish button now appears. Okay, right, finish, yes, we're all done. Uh, the final stage of construction, we've passed the foundations, the pillars, the stairs. Now it's time for the walls. We're going to need bricks. Bring them to the walls and tell your workers to start construction. Workers, start construction. Do the... No, not the, with the lorry. No, lorry. <laughs> lorry, you can back up over here, please. You're just kind of in the way, making life difficult for us. You guys, get over there, grab some bricks, chuck them over here, and get some walls on the go. I mean, this is going to take ages. Yeah, move time on very quickly. There are many, many points where you need to build walls. So we're going to be here a good long time. We're going to go through quite a few bricks, I feel. But um, yeah, okay, right. Just yeah, keep keep going. <laughs> we're going to be here for ages. Look how many little kind of nodes there are to deliver the, um, the bricks to. Uh, right, okay, there we go. You just crack on with that. It's a shame we can't zoom in anymore. I would love to zoom in just a teeny tiny bit more there just to kind of keep track of what's going on because you know, look at things nice and close up. I mean, in the meantime, while they're doing that, can we just sort of drive this around? Yep, there we go. It says we build on the signs there. Yes, we do. Uh, I mean, does that need to leave? Can, can we drive it onto the road? Oh, we can. Okay. <laughs> we can go a little top. Can it go all the way over there? Uh, that just uh, drove through a fence, but okay. Oh, uh, right, okay. It's a, it's a magic one. Where is it going? Where are you going? Who's driving this? <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> right, okay. We've got a cement mixing thing just doing donuts around the buildings. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it doing that because why not? It's a fun thing. <laughs> That's, that is very silly. They're doing golfing again. Um, okay, wall framing. Uh, what is that? Build pillars, beams. Um, do we need to go back and get bricks? Finish the build floor. To oh, there. Frame wall. Right. So, oh, right. Okay, the bricks are now in position. They now need to actually build the walls. Right, okay. So they're getting on with that. <laughs> The uh, the thing is now driving through the building, but that's fine because it's funny and we like it. Um, ah, they're doing all of the walls, not just the external ones. They're doing the internal ones as well. <laughs> well my favourite thing so far is this. This is wonderful. Can you watch out over here, though, please? That's going to affect the property value if you keep driving into it. Uh, right. OK, so now we need to plaster things. Right. So grab everybody. 
I assume we... How do we plaster? Uh, when you're done, plaster them and start painting. I don't know how to do that, though, game. You've not... Ah, here we go. Right, plaster the walls. You have to click on the base to make them do anything, not the actual walls itself. So now you lot can get plastering. So, oh yeah, there you go. It's going to drying as time goes by. So they'll get on with this, but then they're going to need to do the next floor up as well. We're going to be, we're going to be here a little while doing this, I think. Uh, also, the, the truck is getting slightly more... <laughs> the, the donut circle is getting a little bit bigger each time. It's coming through the building ever so slightly more. <laughs> there we go. It's all fine. I'm sure they'll be okay. Um, and then, have they finished doing this yet? Are they still, are they still doing this? I think they might still be going, are they? Oh no, right, paint walls, okay. Um, it's, I mean, it's a shame we can't dictate the colours. What colours are you going to paint the walls? I want vibrant, they're not, these are, these are not exciting wall coverings. Uh, apart from that bit coming through, that's exciting. Can we not have them in you know, garish shades of red and green? How about some you know, red and purple? That'd be love. Red and blue. Everyone loves red and blue. I want a geek of a corporate coloured room, please. This is all very unexciting. Okay, fine. We'll let them we'll let them get away with it this time. That's all fine. So, right, wall painting is done. So the walls are looking... Oh, now I've got to go and do that again on the other... Oh, crikey. Okay. Right. Go and grab some bricks, folks. Uh, let's just let them get on with that. We'll let them do that and the cement mix we think can just <laughs> keep on having its uh, little fun trip around and around. Okay, it's August 2026, but I think they are pretty much done with the painting over here, which is wonderful. I think there we go. There we go. That's now all done. Again, not overly dramatic in terms of the decor, but we'll let it slide this time. That's all fine. Um, okay. So we are done. We can now move on to the next phase. So finish that. Uh, oh, they've popped a roof on already, which is good. Uh, oh, and they've taken all their things away. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, the builder's just gone. Oh, bye. Do you not want to take your lorry with you that I don't think we can click on anymore? Okay. <laughs> I mean, the, um, the, the root of this, the orbit of this has changed a little bit. Because, of course, originally it was going sort of a little bit over here, but it's kind of you know, moved over ever so slightly. It is sort of, you know, moving around a bit. Um, okay, like any building, ours should also have a nice roof. I mean, yeah, it, it's got a... It's a roof. I, I don't know if it's nice. I mean, it's better no roof, I suppose, so I can't complain too much. Oh, choose the shape and colour of the roof. Okay, so we can have a flat roof. Oh, it can be a bright red flat roof, or it can be a sloped roof. That, oh, the roof colour. Uh, okay, right, hang on, we can have blue. We can have Geek of a Corporate Blue. Okay, the tough work is done. It's time for the more eye-pleasing part. It would be nice if the outside of the building was a real eye-catcher. Plant a couple of trees, flowers, and make everyone dream of living in such an environment. I mean, do we include the um, the cement mixing truck as a feature? I don't know. <laughs> we need to put five plants down. That's nowhere near enough. Five lamps, five seats, and five statues. Um, okay, I kind of feel like they've forgotten the doors. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's doorways, there's holes for the doors, but there aren't any doors. It's going to be a little bit drafty and also a little bit sort of, you know, easy to rob -y, if you like. But OK, uh, let's go for then. Oh, fountains. Oh, OK. Oh, this is fancy. Uh, yeah, OK, we'll put a... How about over here, look? Near, near this... <laughs> near these lovely disused tyres, we'll put, we'll put a fountain or two. We'll have a fountain. I can't put a fountain down. I'm not allowed a fountain. Oh, I am allowed a fountain. Hooray! We'll put a fountain down. And we'll have another fountain just there. Because that's fun. But we need to put five statues down. Oh. Oh, there are many excited. Are these all statues? We can have a massive playground. Okay, right. We're going to have a playground. We're going to have a playground. Out near these suspicious uh, canisters of potential chemical waste. Let's put a playground. There we go. What could possibly go wrong? There we go. Pop that in. That's apparently a statue. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. If you say so, that's all good. Uh, we'll have another bit like that because that looks amazing. Look at that. That looks really good. That's quite a big slide up there. Um, we will have... Oh, a bike stand might be quite nice. Bike stand could be quite good. Um, I can't quite see which way round it's supposed to be. Is it that way? Yeah, it's more that way round. So pop that in. That's apparently a statue. Uh, we've got electricity boxes, 
garbage containers. Not overly exciting. How about a lovely gazebo? So if we put that, say, there, look. Uh, if we move it over. There we go. So the parents of the children playing on the equipment here can sit in the gazebo and have a lovely time. That's quite nice. Um... Oh, there's like a sand. There's loads of it's just all playgroundy stuff. Road blockers, rock formations. Oh, they're quite fun. We'll have one of those. We'll put one of those. Right. So we've got plenty of statues. There's loads of statues. We'll have a little um for cleanliness. We'll have a um a trash can in the park area. Put one just there. That's quite important. Water drain, sun umbrellas. Oh, there. That's huge. That's that's very big. We'll put one of those out the front, look. That's quite nice. And then it's just going to drain covers and things. Okay, so plenty of statues. Seats. Okay. Bush bench. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, the only issue is, apart from the cement mixing lorry driving through everything, is that because you've only got... You haven't got sort of 360 degree rotation. So when we put that down, if your building doesn't line up with these things, you can't... Like, look, it's at an angle. And I can't rotate it to make it kind of fit properly around there. So we're going to have to put it across there, which I didn't really want to do. But there we go. So that's one seat. Uh, oh, a fountain bench. Yeah, we'll put that. We'll put that there. I was kind of hoping it would remove that stuff there, but it hasn't. Okay, it's <laughs> fine. Long bench. Uh, we'll have a little bench just there next to there. Uh, and then we'll have another one of those... Again, it can't sort of go properly in the right place, but like that. And then can we have one of these kind of... Oh, that's quite nice. It's got sunflowers behind it. It's quite pretty. Can we tuck that just there? Right, wonderful. So we've got the seeds in. Lamps. Uh, oh, crikey. Is there, a, there are many lamps. Uh, oh, that's quite a posh one. We'll have one of them there. Uh, in fact, we just keep with the same style lamp. We'll have one like that. I kind of feel like we need them outside the doors. Because that's sort of important. So, yeah, you can see how to get in through the door. Uh, and then we'll have some over here, I think, to light the park a bit. So I put one near that bin and we'll put one at that end. And then it's just five plants. Uh, oh, there are many plants. Uh, oh, there's a tree bench thing. We'll put that there. That's quite nice. Um, how about then some little plant, a big pot uh, oh, yeah, it's like a little sort of a planter type thing. Again, shame we can't zoom in. I'd love to zoom in and have a little look at what's going on. Uh, flower bed. We could put that over there, look. So the curved bench thing could be looking over a nice flower bed. Sort of. We couldn't get it too near, but never mind. Uh, we'll have... Oh, that's quite nice. Again, we can't zoom in and look at it, but it looks okay from a distance. And then a flower bed sev. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, can we have one of these flower bed fire? Oh, yeah, this is quite nice. Um, again, we can't sort of have them at the, exactly the right angle, but never mind. Uh, oh, oh, that was the fifth one. Can we just put another one down? Hang on. Can we just drop one in like that? Look, there we go. I, is the um? I, yeah, I think the cement mixer truck has come sort of come this way now. I think he's at risk of running over the plants. Oh no. Um. Okay. Finish the building. Finish construction. Construction completed. Okay, congratulations on completing your first job. Temporarily hired workers have fulfilled their contract. From now on, you will have to bring your own workforce. Payment for the job for the welding job will be sent soon. Use it to hire new workers. Okay. Oh, you know, how did you like it? Um. Oh. Oh, I see. This is like feedback from the demo sort of thing. Oh, I see. Right. I am with you. Um. We're gonna go to continue. We're going to go to continue. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's all we can do. We can't do anything else right now. It's kind of your wrap thing. So we've only got the finish button down here. Um, and yeah, I can see what they're trying to do with this. Now, this game, I believe, is made by the same people that did the tenants. So in terms of the developers and the publishers, I think it's the same two sort of people that have sorted that out. Um, and yeah, in, I think I kind of I like the concept of it. But a lot of it was just kind of... A lot of what I would see as the feature of this is sorting out sort of like little individual touches. Like over here in the garden, for example. I mean, we've kind of plonked stuff down because I, I want to zoom in a bit more. But yeah, we're sort of playing the demo. and We know it's not exactly the finished sort of polished thing. And it's a one-off at the minute. We're not going to come back to it. So we're just kind of looking at what there was. And that thing is running over the flowers now. Boo. Um... 
But um, yeah, I kind of see the sort of the the main sort of point of a game like this is customization stuff. And like in the tenants, you could customize many things in the little kind of apartments that you sort of bought or rented or whatever. You could put different kind of furniture. You could change the wallpapers and you laid stuff out. Whereas when you're doing your building, you sort of, yeah, in the blueprint bit, it's quite exciting. You get to lay out the rooms and you get to put down the windows and the doors and things. A little bit of that was marginally fiddly, but yeah, that's fun. They can work on that. However, the building of the thing is just a little bit of a non-event, isn't it? You just sort of select a load of people and you right click and you go, do the building work. And they do the first bit of the building work. And then they go, they need to do the next bit of the building work. And then you write, you select them and you go, right, do the next bit of the building work. And they do the next bit of the building work. And I don't need to tell them to pick up the rebar and weld it. I don't need to tell them to get the bricks. Your job is to build the thing. I don't need to tell you to do that. I'm just literally right, sort of, you know, clicking, right clicking, and then doing nothing at all. There's not much to do. And then you go back to the blueprinting, you put the individual rooms in. That's quite good. I like that. Figure out the sizes and such like. That was quite fun. But um, then, yeah, you have to then build the two floors of the building. I mean, if we were building like a 10 story building, the amount of clicking for all the workers going, right, now do that floor. Now put the bricks on that floor. Now do the rebar on that floor, whatever. You'd be there forever. <laughs> You'd be there a very long time. Um, and then yeah, you don't get to kind of customise any sort of wallpaper going on in there, what it looks like on the inside. We got to customise the roof, which was a bit of a surprise, a little bit obscure, but you know, welcome surprise. But yeah, I wanted to do like the paint in there and sort out the carpets and things, have some different doors going on. So um, so yeah, and then if you could sort of combine it a little bit with almost a tenant style approach of sorting out the individual rooms inside, maybe not to the degree of putting furniture or such like in, but if you could just, you know, maybe tailor each room in the apartments, then that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Because the apartments were just one kind of big open space. I'd like to break it down into the smaller individual rooms and kind of go, right, there's a bathroom there and that's a two bedroom thing and kind of build them up. Because yeah, the apartments are just a great big open space. <laughs> that's kind of it. Um, so yeah, I kind of, the building bit I wasn't that bothered about and there wasn't as much customization stuff as I wanted there to be, which was a little bit of a surprise, I'll be honest. Um, and yeah, the, 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 what there is, is great. I love all this, all that stuff out there. Look all the kind of the playground stuff and there were many plants and many different kind of options for lighting and that kind of stuff. That was really good. I like all that. And if we could have put some paths around and that kind of stuff, but yeah, they just, you know, wasn't wasn't that sort of stuff for the inside um, and also I can't zoom in I want to zoom in and get a closer look at things I can zoom out but that's as much as I can zoom in so I can't really get a detailed look at all the things that's there like yeah that looks really pretty from up on here I want to go and look closer at the little kind of uh, sort of planter thing um, so yeah I can see what they're trying to do I can see what they're trying to do with it I think it does need a little bit of uh, a little bit of TLC with it but you know I think if you like that building process if you're into that kind of stuff if if you're really into uh, you know welding rebar then you know maybe you'll love that bit but i thought it was a bit of a non sort of a, a non-event if you like um i do i do like the the feature of our thing and is it driving around the building is it clipping through anything i think it might just be ever so ever so slightly narrowly clipping through that wall there I think for the most part, we've actually got it doing an entire loop around the building now. No, I think it is. <laughs> I think right now it's in the perfect orbit. Oh, maybe it's just clipping that all there, but it's going around the building, which is fun. So, I mean, yeah, that obviously isn't supposed to do that. That's clearly a bug going on and I can't stop it. But Joe, you know it's fun. It's been fun. So, um, yeah, in, uh, we might well pop back to this some point in the future at some point long into the future when it's way more kind of developed and polished and that kind of stuff as we said i kind of see what they're trying to do but there just needs to be sort of more there needs to be more customization stuff going on just so we can kind of feel like we're making a bit of a difference to the building rather than just sort of going yep yeah, there's a shell of a building built it bye bye because you know that's not really anything is it that's not doing too much so uh so uh yeah i think we might pop back to it at some point. I'm glad we took a look at it and this kind of popped up. I was surprised by it. it popped up on Steam and I thought, oh, that's by the same people that did the tenants. Let's go and have a look because I like playing the tenants. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. We'll keep an eye on it. We shall keep an eye on it and maybe pop back to it at some point in the future. But uh, yeah, for now, we'll wrap things up with our look at the constructors. Hopefully you did enjoy this. 
and I hope maybe you did enjoy the uh, sort of the adventures of uh, of uh, roundy round the cement mixing truck lorry van thing over there because yeah you've been a highlight of it so hopefully you did enjoy this if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and I'll see you next time. Let's follow Max Betts, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. 